hi welcome back happy sunday as i mentioned in last week's video we are currently getting back to my thrifting roots and thrifting in my hometown of spokane washington we have thrifted here before and if you check out the playlist in my channel you can actually watch an entire playlist of videos that i have filmed thrifting in spokane but today's stop is a new to us place and it is the arc of spokane in the downtown area this store has been voted best thrift store by locals for years and it was personally recommended to me by many people that i chatted with while thrifting in the spokane area for some reason i can't believe i have not visited there before but the finds are fantastic and the fitting room is open so i was able to try some things on for you and then after the thrift store we'll come back here for the try on haul so let's go thrifting So the ARC has tag sales every day and we lucked out on a 99 cent day so we're looking for green tags. I like to start in the dresses in a new to me thrift store just to give me a picture of what types of items might be throughout the store. I thought this kind of muumuu was really cute with the sort of bandana print and also getting an idea of what the pricing looks like here. I'm not sure what this is but I love the fabric fun but it's like completely open back and there's no tag Feel like a nursing top or something another really cute print for spring but this sort of dropway silhouette doesn't really work for me I definitely love casual 90s dresses like this they're very wearable for the spring and summer so I snagged that one to try on and this one as well, this is the type of style I love to look for because they're super wearable. This one even had pockets. You can wear them with like any type of shoe, your sandal, all your sneakers for the spring and summer. And then we spotted this beauty. Oh, so that's only a dollar, I guess. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. Vintage 70s, I guess, 60s. So yeah, this one was looking like it was probably too small for me, but I had to try it. So I threw it in the cart to try on. Neon is definitely trending for the spring and summer this year, so either of these dresses would have been a pretty good snag and fun to style. This one's kind of fun. A little denim number with a belt. <laughs> Donna Brown collection, eight bucks. Look, there's like five of them. <laughs> could start a, a girl band or something. <laughs> now we're heading over into the women's tops and they have a huge selection. So I'm looking right away at this cool 90s vest, but noticing unfortunately it has a stain on it. The buttons were really cool, super bright colors. That would be really fun to wear, just buttoned up with nothing underneath it as a top for the summer. And another really cute vest. I love this sort of like provincial floral print and it's a Talbot's piece, 100% cotton. And here's a fun 90s throwback for you with the Looney Tunes vest. Reminds me of things that we would have worn in high school for like a band concert. <laughs> I found a couple of these cool vintage long knit vests and just thought they were really cute. Love seeing the vintage tags. I'm getting excited to look through all the tops because I'm spotting a lot of vintage right away. I thought this fabric was amazing and that could have been really fun to style. Love to see the bright colors on this one. Definitely could have lots of fun with that piece. It's from Worthington and it's a green tag, so only 99 cents. That one was just a little bit too small for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and just spotting more vintage knits here in the tops, a 99 cent one, so I had to snag that to consider. This one I loved instantly. It was $7.99, but I had to try it, so definitely went in the cart as well. I thought this little dog t-shirt was so cute and I just love imagining like the exact right person finding that on the rack and being so excited because they actually have a Manchester Terrier. I think that's so cute. Here's a cute modern piece. I like how it's a black and white floral. I feel like you can have so much fun with that. It looks very kind of light and ethereal, but a little bit elegant too. And again, there's another one of those knit vests from the same brand that we saw in red. Here's one in like a cream color. I just don't feel like I would get a lot of wear out of a long silhouette vest like that. So I didn't pick up either. Just spotting another fun, funky print. This one would be awesome to style for summer, like tie up the bottom and wear it with shorts. I like this cute houndstooth Andrea Gale piece and it had fun buttons and everything. It just felt definitely not in season. So I felt like I didn't need it right that day. Then I found this cute kind of lightweight jacket. Check out the disco ball mirror detail on the collar. Oh, it's only a dollar. Should we try it on? <laughs> I think if this one was a little bit more oversized, I may have gone for it because it was just a fun, interesting piece, but didn't love how it looked on me. And I was being super picky that day because I only had so much room to bring things home with me. Love, love this sweater. I love the neutral tones. I know it's out of season, but it's such a find. I had to throw that in the cart to try. And even more cute knits in this store. They had a pretty good plus size section too. This one is a 2X. That would be so fun for somebody to grab for the spring. And this cute vintage sweater is in a size 2X also. going to take a quick look at the shoes. They have a really decent shoe section here and it's very well organized. I just spotted a couple of standout pairs. It wasn't something I was shopping for in particular that day. So we're just going to look at a few of the ones that caught my eye. I almost got this sort of Gucci inspired scarf because it'd be perfect for wearing in your hair. But as soon as I put it back, somebody else picked it up. So it found a good home. And now I'm just going to take a look through the pants. I'm definitely thrifting for pants these days and found these cute vintage Lee jeans, super high waisted with the huge like mom butt style, like definitely a mom jean. I love this ultra light wash and it looks like they're going to be my size. So I threw those in the cart to try. Oh, and they were only 99 cents. Taking a look through some of the skirts, they had some really cute vintage skirts and fun patterns and some of them were on the tag sale as well, which is awesome. I just, again, I've said this recently, but I don't know exactly what styles are gonna work for me right now in skirts and I have a good collection at home, so I didn't end up picking anything up, but they had some really good options that day. They do have a separate plus size section that had dresses and skirts and pants that had been pulled aside. So I took a quick glance through there to see what the options were like. And I spotted vintage pieces as well as some cute modern basics. So actually really good plus size selection in this store, I would say. By the way, I love this brand Forenza for their denim. I have a denim jumpsuit made by them that is plus size and it fits so nicely. So I recommend searching for something like that if you're looking for plus size denim jumpsuits or dresses, things like that. Mm -hmm. 
this Jones New York dress for 99 cents was such a good find. I really heavily considered it, but again, I was just being so picky that day and decided I didn't need it. Now we're gonna take a look at the bags. They have a pretty decent sized section and I noticed that they had a really wide variety of styles. I think because the ARC has such a big donation program and you can even arrange to have your donations picked up. They get donations from a wide variety of um, donors across the city. So there is a really interesting variety of things to look at throughout the store, but you'll see definitely here in the bag section. Now this black fanny pack has been on my thrift list for ages. So I was so excited to find this. I threw it in the cart, but the material had this like stickiness to it on the outside. So I ended up leaving it. Meanwhile, I'm looking at this really interesting little puppy bag and a cute vintage clutch. Look at the beautiful detail on the clasp. And last, I want to take a look in the men's section before heading into the fitting room. Like many thrift stores, their men's section is significantly smaller than the women's clothing section, but I just spotted a couple of cute things to show you. I think this fishing button up from Woolworths is really cute, actually. Like you could have a really fun dad core moment styling that open over a tank top or something. And then I spotted another little vintage knit. And this one I had to show you because the tag is from the Bon Marche, which is just such a throwback if you remember that department store before it was Macy's. So now I'm in the fitting room. I have a couple pairs of denim to try. And that knit top that you saw, put that on with the Lee denim and I think it's super cute. So really liking both of these pieces. I was bummed that the sweater top that I chose was one of the higher priced tops that I found. It was at $7.99, but for a vintage piece, I felt like it was worth it. So really liking both of these pieces. And now I'm trying that vintage neutral tone sweater with the other pair of Lee jeans that I picked up. And I feel like the sweater is just a little bit too snug on me. It's extremely cropped. The jeans were okay, but they weren't as high rise as I wanted. So you can see here, I'm getting a little belly showing effect between the two pieces, just not fitting quite right. So I left both behind in the end. And then trying that Robbie B dress. Again, I love this simple cut. The button-up feature though, it just didn't work across my bust. And then I noticed the person who owned it before had actually put a safety pin there because they probably had the same issue with it popping open. So this one stayed behind as well. And here's that cool 60s or 70s dress. And you can see it doesn't quite fit me, but I got it on enough to give you just an idea of what it looks like. It has this cool sash that ties around the waist and they had like pinned it to the dress. So I wasn't able to even fully like get that effect, but I love the print on this skirt. It would be so fun to style. So I'm sure somebody snagged it up probably that same day. And that was everything at the ARC. So let's go home and do a try on haul. So I really liked that store. Uh, I couldn't believe when I walked in that they were having dollar deals because I recently had a lot of luck with some dollar deals if you saw some of my recent videos and tons and tons of good finds in there. I want to let you know I was being extra picky just because I don't have a ton of room in my suitcase to bring back too many pieces, but really I could have gone totally ham in there. The selection was awesome. So I have a couple things from the ARC and then I went to also the Union Gospel Mission where I did not get a chance to film unfortunately, but I have a few pieces that I might as well show you while we're here. So let's get into the haul. First I got this cute kind of tropical print knit sweater. It is vintage Coret and a silk and cotton blend. So super soft, very cute. I thought the pastels would help this be like more of a spring and summer piece. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun styling this one. And then I also got these super light wash Lee jeans. These are also like super high rise, a nice little tapered leg. I really liked how they fit when I got to try them in the fitting room. They have this like 
V stitching on the back. And if you look at jeans like that, especially vintage jeans, it gives you a little bit more of a fit and like curve out through the hips. So when I see something like that, I know it's something that I wanna try. This also has a stretchy waistband. I'm in a, a phase of being a little bit transitional between sizes right now. So pieces like this are really helpful for me. So something to consider if that happens for you too. And yeah, I think these will be fun to style. I'm super into the light wash denim right now. And how cute with this sweater is a whole outfit. I didn't say this these were on the dollar sale so I got these jeans for a dollar and then this was a score from the Union Gospel Mission they actually had a separate little vintage rack that I looked at we only had about 10 minutes in that store so I really just scanned through that area and I found two things first this little stripey polka dot vintage blouse this like mint green color has been just calling to me lately if you've seen some of my other recent videos and I just couldn't leave her behind. I love the little necktie and I think that's really cute to style. It's also super lightweight and kind of sheer so giving me some spring and summer vibes. It's just too adorable. And then last, I found this really fun wild print little vintage dress. These like vintage shift dresses, again, have just been like calling out to me from the thrift stores this year. I have found so many really good pieces and I'm getting tons of wear out of them. They're so fun to throw on a one and done outfit. All you need is a good shoe. So this print I absolutely loved from the start and I got this one for $7.50. Here's the print close up, but it does not have a tag. And that's it for the haul. Well, thank you so much for thrifting with me at the Arc Spokane. I absolutely loved that store. It was a really nice selection there. Definitely will have to go check it out again in the future. This was the last of our stops on the Spokane thrifting adventure for this time, but we'll definitely head back that way again in the future next time I'm visiting. If you're local to Spokane, let me know your thoughts on the Arc. And also if you have any other recommendations for any of us who might be thrifting in the Spokane area. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe for new videos every Sunday and sometimes I'll have bonus content during the week. So if you turn on your notifications, you won't miss a thing. And my content is always about thrifting and secondhand fashion. And coming up soon on this channel, we're gonna be going to an amazing, incredible, huge estate sale. I can't wait to share that with you. I will see you guys back here next week for a new video. Mm -hmm.